Hello guys, and welcome to a new week of the Shoestring Congress. I'm going to lead off this week, and what I want to talk about is something light and fun and just, you know, good. So, I know everybody has, well, maybe not, well, some people don't have a favorite kind of food, or a favorite food dish in particular. But I know everyone has, like, those cravings that are happening, like, right now. And, for instance, today I was talking with my boss about what, um, at work we're, good at, we're doing the Secret Santa thing. And I was trying so hard to figure out what I was supposed to get this person that I have. And um, eventually I decided uh, that I'd get him a gift card to one of my favorite places to eat in Los Angeles. It's called Philly's Best. Uh, there's, a, there's a chain of them. I think it started in San Francisco in 1992 from um, some authentic, like for some real native Philadelphians that came out here. And they're like, oh, we want cheese steaks. <laughs> um, and there's a, there's, there's a few. I think there's maybe two around L.A. One in Burbank, and I think there's another one in Long Beach. And it's delicious. Oh, it's so good. I'm not going to go into it very much right now. Well, maybe I will later. I just want to get through the story. Um, and I went there with this guy that, you know, that I'm trying to buy a present for before, because I was helping him out paint one weekend, and um, I told him, hey, we should get lunch here, because it's real good. And he loved it. He thought it was awesome. Um... This place that we're painting is his new place of business, and so he's going to be spending a lot of time in Burbank because he's going to be working there. And um, so I was thinking, I'll just give him a gift card because then he can go there like all the time. Uh, and when I was describing it to my boss, he's like, no, what exactly makes up a Philly cheesesteak? You know, I got to describe it, and oh my god, now I just want a Philly cheesesteak. I almost drove there tonight, and there would have been terrible traffic at this hour, so I didn't want to go, <laughs> I didn't go, actually. I think I'm going to go tomorrow night, though. Well, I have to to pick up the gift card. Um, but I got to describe it to him. And right now, the Philly cheesesteak is like the biggest craving on my food list right now. Um, God, like this long Amoroso rolls, like Italian rolls, and just like really greasy steak all chopped up nice and fine, and cheese whiz. Uh, mm, cheese whiz all over it. Uh, cheese fries, also with cheese whiz. Old Bay seasoning. It's out of Maryland on the east coast of the United States, and it's so good. And you just put that on it. And they have tasty cakes there. <sighs> Whole bunch of, like, Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer and stuff like that. It's so good. It's so good. It's what I'm craving right now. So my question to you guys, my question to the rest of the members of this Congress, the shoestring Congress, is what is your craving right now? What are you craving right now? And describe it to us. Describe it to the rest of us. And anyone who has to comment on what they're or what they're craving right now, go for it. You know, just comment on what you want to eat right now, or drink, or whatever. Um, that's it. That's it. That's the whole question. Really, really slow. Really, I mean, not slow. Really quick. Um, light and easy. So go for it. Have at it. Go nuts. Think of anything. Is it dog food? Are you craving dog food? Eat it. If you crave dog food, you should eat it probably or not. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever Whatever you want to do. Um, but that's all I have uh, for right now. And that's my question for this week. So that's that. In other news, uh, other business pertaining to the Shoestring Congress, we are taking a two-week break. Um, after this week, we're going to take a two-week hiatus because of Christmas and then New Year's. Um, I don't want to have, I don't, I don't want to make, have, have one of our members make videos on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And Christmas Day and New Year's Day, so, not all. We're taking a break, and on January 7th, Cecilia, who you'll see tomorrow, um, she'll chime in on Monday with a new question for everybody. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, take care, and happy holidays, guys.